Hey friends, welcome to Post to Post. It's Neil here. Thanks for joining me today. We got a uniform leak slash tease. We got a jersey leak and we got a jersey tease all from different sources, I think. I'm not actually sure where the jersey leak came from, but we're gonna look at all the images here today. The Arizona Coyotes are coming out with a new, I believe, alternate jersey and uniform to go along with it. Let's dive in and let's discuss these leaks and I'll give you my thoughts on what we know so far. Let's take a look at the first image that I saw on, it was actually on Twitter, which was of uh, them having a practice and you could see the pants. And the pants are a pretty big sign of what's to come for the jersey. You can see that cactus or cacti on the pants. Uh, but we got the burgundy. The burgundy's kind of back and that was from the previous generation Adidas jersey, which is this, and then obviously back into Reebok and then you know predating that as well to their uh, almost original time. But we've got uh, a beautiful color here in the pants. And I think I was very excited when I saw this because I thought, you know, there's a, there's a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential. Now let's go look at the actual leaked image of the jersey. I'm just going to go in order of how I saw these images. Boom. There you go. Well, there, there it is. Uh, I think this is pretty legit. I don't see anything about this that screams fake or counterfeit or anything like that to me. You can even see the little prime, prime green little circular globe uh, logo there on just above the NHL logo inside the neck. You can just peek it a little bit. There's some really, really cool things about this jersey. Most um, textual style or script uh, logos, I don't like that much, but this one has a little bit of personality to it. It's got a little bit of jazz. It's uh, italicized, so it's leaning a little bit. Uh, it's even got some like jaggedness around like the A and like the inside of the O and around the edges and stuff. I think that's probably to represent like the rockiness and uh, you know desert kind of style of uh, of Arizona, which obviously makes sense. Uh, the star that's on the top of the eye, I believe, is probably pulled from the state flag. So overall, I really like the font. The decision to go with a word mark on the jersey, what meh, whatever. I, I it doesn't really do a lot for me. I appreciate the uniqueness of it, but uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't make me too happy. That's for sure. Now, one thing that does make me happy is there are a you know a variation of their uh, logo, their alternate logo. Boom, right there, and you can see see what I did there. See uh, that it makes a C for captain. I think that is very cool. I'm I'm very impressed by that decision. Actually, that's a, that's a cool little detail that they added in there. Uh, so I think a lot of people who buy this jersey are going to be looking to get uh, maybe the captain uh, their their name on the back. Plus the, the you know the C on the front, or if you want to call it a C, it kind of looks like a logo as well. It is kind of. Now let's get to the pattern along the bottom. It's the second last thing I want to talk about. Number one, I love the burgundy. The burgundy looks awesome. I think in a uniform, this is going to be a really cool uniform. Lots of burgundy. It looks good. The pattern along the bottom, I think, is too distracting. It's too apparent. I think that pattern should be, right now, it's a, it's like 100%, but it should be like 20% or 25% or 30% transparent. I think it's just too prominent. It is the most distracting. It is the, the primary element, and I, I think the most distracting thing on this jersey, taking away from the logo on the front, which is supposed to be the main attraction. That's what you want to see, the, the, the logo on the front. Now, the pattern itself is beautiful. We love the Kachina pattern, but it's just too prominent on this jersey for me. I would love to see that way more subtle, way more subdued. And so I'm a little bit disappointed there. Um, I still think it's going to look really good in a uniform. But the most disappointing thing for me in this jersey and it looks a little bit better in the next photo that we're gonna take a look at, but it's the different colorization of burgundy depending on the material. So the main material here is a very pretty burgundy. I mean, they're all, they're all very pretty. The shoulders is the same. Underneath the arm, this little mesh piece here, which is a different material, is a brighter, more saturated burgundy. And then down below, on the, on the bottom here on the side, and then where the, the uh, Kachina pattern is, that's a different material and also a different shade. So there's three different shades of burgundy, at least from this picture, from what I can see. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. I, I just don't, um, I don't understand that at all. But there's good news. Let's move on to the next image. This is the image that was actually officially released by the Arizona Coyotes just, I think, three hours ago as I'm filming this. And they reveal the bottom of the jersey. So that basically confirms <laughs> the, the leak that we just looked at. So the bottom of the jersey here, you can see what comes beneath the pattern that we saw. And it's the regular jersey material that you'd see here. It's a little bit darker, but then the pattern, the material that holds the pattern is um, is is not as different as the, the leaked image. So I don't know if it's, you know, 
what what lighting w- was either photo taken in, I don't know which one was best, what's more realistic, what's it actually going to look like. But even in this one, you can tell that there's a, a shade discrepancy here. And that, that personally bugs me. It just, it drives me nuts. Uh, if it's intentional, I, I don't understand the decision. And if it's a mistake, Adidas do better. And I don't even know if you can blame Arizona here. To me, this is an Adidas issue, not an, an Arizona issue. So, I mean, that's just personal preference. There's no right or wrong. There's going to be um, lots of lots of love for this jersey. There's going to be lots of hate for this jersey as well. I quoted the image on uh, on Twitter, and there were some very interesting comments. Uh, a lot of people loved it, and a lot of people hated it. There didn't seem to be basically anyone <laughs> in the middle. I think this is kind of a tough jersey to judge. It's got a lot of really, really cool things about it. But it's got a lot of, like, confusing and maybe, like, meh things about it as well. So... I don't think, um, I think the jersey collectors will be interested in getting this. I, I personally will probably pass on it, but I can see it being kind of popular just because it is, you know, it's, it is pretty, it's, you know, it's a nice burgundy. There's not enough burgundy in the NHL or maroon, whatever you want to call it. I really don't care, but I think the Arizona Coyotes fans will like this a lot. Um, but anyways, yeah, I would love to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I saw lots of comments on Twitter, but I don't know how the YouTube audience feels about it. So if you've got a couple of minutes, let me know down below. Even if you've got a couple seconds, just leave it like a rating out of 10 or something. We'd love to know how you feel. And of course, when the uh, Arizona Coyotes officially release this, we get some actual proper photos from the team or from Adidas or from uh, someone in the media who can hook us up with some photos. Uh, we'll take a look at all of them and we'll critique and we'll, we'll you know, we'll give our thoughts on, uh, I think, um, an average jersey, but maybe a really, really cool uniform. I think where the shines is going to be in the uniform. But I applaud Arizona for doing something uh, a little bit different. I appreciate all new jerseys in the NHL, even if I don't give them a 10 out of 10 score, even if I give them a 2 out of 10 score. I still appreciate the innovation or the um, the, the newness, I guess, of, of 99% of the jerseys in the NHL. Some of the jerseys we get are not, uh, not that new, just a little bit of an inverse. So anyways, I'm rambling at this point. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, hit the like button. And I'll talk to you guys very soon, actually. Adios.